Normally I try to talk about games I've played before or at least have heard a bit about, but when Alpha Rad came to me and said, Jaden, play Amazing Island. I don't know why, but I decided in that moment, yes, Jacob, my good friend, I trust you. I will play Amazing Island. And let me say, I do not regret it one bit. Let me take you on the journey that is amazing island. The game starts by telling you the story of a mysterious picture book about a mysterious island with mysterious amazing creatures that everyone loved. But then everyone suddenly decided it was boring and forgot about it for a thousand years. Anyway, back to me. Please select your alter ego. Ooh, all right. I decided my alter ego is this little boy, mainly just because I don't want to be the girl. Little man's over here with Bob the Builder overalls and two whole sweatbands. He means business. So I find the book that everyone decided they didn't care about anymore. More, read it, go to bed, and suddenly I'm transported into the book world because I am a human and I guess they have low standards. Also, they gave me a complimentary trading card when I arrived. I started looking around when... Oh! <laughs> Why'd that get me? <laughs> hey kid! Time to play evil volleyball! In the volcano! And with that sudden jump scare I wasn't expecting, I summoned the creature from the trading card, spiked evil guy into the lava with a ball that I think might be the sun, got a vision orb, and Skullman, whose actual name sounds very kind of offensive, is unpossessed and saved. The town elder is like, great job! get seven more orbs. And I was like, yes, because I'm an 11 year old boy stuck on a possibly not real island with monsters and little tiki torch people. So to get the vision orbs, you have to play a series of little mini games followed by a boss battle. I can't do the mini games on my own, I guess. So I go to this mirror room and the little guy here is like, your dreams and imagination will materialize to form your partner and turn it into a reality. I will look into the depths of your soul and retrieve the being that is within you. Question one, what's your star sign? One deep dive into my creative subconscious later and my monster is... <laughs> I, I see. So that's what's been floating around in my brain this whole time. His name is Nathans with an S. Nathans and I merge and fly off to the first minigame trial, which begins with a simple foot race. Oh my, look at, holy crap. Look at him go. Oh. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> so that was a, an emotional roller coaster. Anyway, on to the next game, which is called Water Skip Slider. And oh my god, this game destroyed me. You've got to mash A, jump off the ramp, and flick the joystick at the right time to skip across the water. But for some reason, I just didn't understand the timing. Oh, I think that was too early. Uh, go. No. Go. No. Go. No. Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> I failed the game six times until I decided to give in and roid Nathan's up with a stamina potion. And then I lost again. It took eight attempts to beat that game once. And I really can't give you a good reason why I'm so horrible at it. But dear Lord, do I hope I never have to play that game again. Anyway, we're back on track. We won Beyblades, attack large tower, and finally reached evil volleyball again. And what do I do? I flubbed it. I lost, like, immediately. Now. No. Now. No. Now. No. Okay. All right. I have to re- I have- I have to replay all those mini games again. Skipping some content. Hey, look, we got the orange vision orb. What new power do I unlock with this shiny new vision orb? <laughs> I already have this ability actually. So since I can create my own monsters now, I decided to create one monster per trial. Introducing Hayabusa, humanoid jelly bean who is withering away mentally and physically. He may be one windy day away from becoming dust, but you know what he's good at? Playing basketball. Just kidding, he failed, he sucks. His actual skill is matching big heavy metal heads. Nah, he failed that one too. Well, at least he can punch the most amount of little demons Oh, he failed that one, too. Oh, ha, check it out! Green vision orb? Good job, buddy. Really proud of you. Please stop being sad and pathetic. Back to the monster birthing mirror, and out pops my pride and joy, Creamer. Creamer's the top dog. He's everything Hayabusa wanted to be and more. Look at him go, a basketball pro. Next minigame is... 
No, not water skip slider. Are you kidding me? So they make you play water skip slider again, but this time on top of the previous mechanics, there's giant pillars of rock you need to destroy while you're still trying to skip on the water. Anyway, so I failed it three times in a row. The stars aligned and I was on to catapult craze. Oh, perfect. All right. Do I click some? Uh, okay, there it goes. Oh. All right, whoa, there's like four different bird cameras there. Look at him go, Creamer! Oh no, he's not gonna make it. <laughs> no, Creamer, no! Well, now I've lost all my lives. <laughs> I'd like to mention that Jacob and I were in a call for all of this because he wanted to watch me play Amazing Island. And at this point of the game, he was muted because he was on the phone taking a business call, but was still watching the screen share. So we were both sitting there in silence, watching me slowly deteriorate as I lose to Water Skip Crusher literally six times in a row. Let's skip to the end. This is getting painful. Ye yellow vision orb, woohoo! In comes Wagner, the innocent little robot dog with one eye. Competitive Beyblade, stacking tower blocks, racing. He sounded in pain during the whole thing. I also wanted to mention with the Beyblade game, you get points when you're blasted into the air by the volcano, but turns out if you fall off the edge, the game also thinks you're in the air like in a good way and gives you points. So needless to say, I started exploiting the hell out of that mechanic. Blue vision orb. Now, I don't think you're ready for the next monster I created, but I will present him anyway. Behold, scoliosis, the giant saw blade shrimp. Saw blades for arms, saw blades for scales, machine gun in the middle of his chest. You don't know how badly I wanted to put it somewhere else, but this channel is rated E for everyone, so it took all my willpower to refrain myself. Now when I'm entering a minigame, the intro text looks like a diagnosis. Nothing really out of the ordinary happened with scoliosis, but with one of the mini games, I completely forgot I had to read the instructions and ended up not knowing what to do at all. And I just thought this clip was really funny. Help! I don't know what I'm doing. I thought I was supposed to match it like, like, like the other ones. I'm not getting. Oh, great. <laughs> What's my score? <laughs> After a lot of trial and error, Scoliosis got the water vision orb. I don't know if they started like running out of color ideas for the vision orbs or something. All of the orbs so far have been like the orange orb, the blue orb, the green orb, the yellow orb, water orb. I unlocked the monster body type kid, so I decided to make a child. His name is Child. Holy crap, Child is buff as shit! Hello, this is Max. He has many swords and here's all. By the way, this game has thrown like four different versions of water skip slider at me throughout this whole playthrough and I'm still not getting any better at them in the slightest. Look at Max go, full on sprinting with those swords like there's not a care in the world. Come on, don't do this to me. We're so close. Don't! Ah! So now that I've got all the vision orbs, it's time to fight the black evil that's that's the game's actual name for the final boss please don't come after me for saying this it's not under my control but i've got one last thing i want to do i wanted to combine all the monsters we've created so far and use that monster to fight the final boss nathan's eyes and wings hayabusa's arms creamer's tail wagner's little cog nose thing scoliosis saw blades max's legs and swords child's happy face t-shirt they all merge into my other half this is Animations! <laughs> you get it? We enter the volcano willingly this time, and there he is. Black Evil. Again, the game said it, not me. I don't know why, but the game developers decided to crank the difficulty on this fight to hard as they possibly could. It's another version of Evil Volleyball, by the way. If you expected anything else, I don't know what to tell you. He throws this astronomical freaking burning star at you, and you have to press A at the right time to catch it. Wait until the very end of the cliff to throw it back, otherwise you'll lose your platforms and fall off. And also click at the right time to throw it far enough to hit him. I know, a bit confusing, and it's not actually easier to play. All right, you're going down, dude. Watch this. Big throw, big throw. All right. 
this this one big throw Ooh. <laughs> okay Ooh, I don't know about this one final blow <laughs> all right animations hold on yeah so here, if you catch the sun at just the right time, you actually don't slide back and can immediately throw it at him, which is really good. But I think it's something like a frame perfect maneuver, so. Ugh. Crap. Ooh, is this it? Oh, look at that health. No, please. <laughs> ah. But then. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes! Is he dead? Ah! I'll be honest, I completely forgot there was supposed to be a phase two. The tutorial totally told me about it, but I was failing for so long it just completely left my memory. I was freaking out because I wasn't mentally prepared and also didn't know what to do. So Jacob was trying to coach me in real time amidst the panic. It was not good, but somehow I did it. Dude, I don't even know what's happening. These special, I can't even see like what is, I won, I won. Black Evil was defeated, and Amazing Island is saved. There was a bunch of dialogue and plot afterwards, but I didn't really read any of it because I just watched animations do various little dances and celebration in the background. So, Amazing Island. I think this one sentence I said after the game was done really summarized it all up really nicely. This game feels too good for <laughs> what it is. Almost every single minigame played really well and the controls were never really a problem. Sure, I failed an embarrassingly large amount of times, but I'm pretty sure that's just because I'm incompetent. The music they created for the minigames actually like goes hard. Basically, I can't really point to any specific aspect of the game and say, yeah, that wasn't good. And something about that scares me, especially for a game that looks like this. I will cherish my creations and the memories I made in this game for as long as I live. Especially Creamer. I really like Creamer a lot, and I have no idea why. Anyway, my final thoughts. I think more people need to know about Amazing Island, so I don't know, go play it. So if you didn't know or have forgotten, there was a pandemic, and not only that, but said pandemic ended up canceling the Super Awesome Tour Scribble Showdown James, Dom, Ross, Aaron, and I were planning on doing last year. But the good news is it's officially postponed. We have new dates, tickets are on sale now. If you already bought tickets from 2020, those are all still valid points of purchase. You don't have to buy them again. I think DC and London are still trying to get all straightened out, but yeah, all the other places are good to go. You can go to scribbleshowdown.com to get tickets. I put the link in the description, and yeah, I'm talking about this a bit early, but I figured I'd let you guys know before we started going crazy with the promo, so you've got a bit of a head start. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video. Amazing Island is cool.